But Sam Goodman, a, a heated face off up there. Um, what you make of that? Uh, yeah, look, I just think he was taking a bit of an opportunity to, you know, like try and get, get a bit of one back, you know, like uh, I got him with a slap at the first one. He's trying to get me a bit of a push in the last one. So, but look, did you see how quick he tried to hide behind his team after it? Like he, he didn't want to be there after it. So he's a little pussy and, you know, I think he's, um, he's just doing it for a bit of attention and a bit of a, you know, a bit of a media thing. But that's my sleep, you know, loves a bit of media. He loves all that sort of stuff, but tomorrow night I'll actually get to put hands on him, and uh, yeah, I'll really go after him. You think he's trying to uh, get into your head in this fight? Nah, he's tried, but like, look, it's it's not personal digs. Like I said yesterday, it's like an argument with a child. So like, it's like it's insults, you know, a four-year-old would throw at you. So you can't you can't even get mad at it. It's just like a little thorn in your side. So it's more annoying than anything. Just being at these events with him throughout these last few weeks or whatever, but. As far as getting in my head, mate, I've got a process. I know what I'm going to do tomorrow, and I'm going to do it. All right, Mark Sleeves, um, things got uh, pretty heated up there. Yeah, of course, man. Uh, emotions are high. Um, you know, all, all talking's done, mate. We weighed in. He's made weight. Well done. And now it's time to punch on. He, um, he said that you were maybe trying to get one back for the slap. Um, yeah. What was the thoughts behind the shove? Well, I wanted to chin him, to be honest, but, you know, we've got to save it for tomorrow. Um, so I just pushed him, man, just to not let him know I'm here and let him know I'm, I'm, I'm in business. What'd you say to him up there? That he's a pussy and I'm going to break him. How does this fight end? By knockout. I, I, whoever, bro, if someone's getting carried out on stretcher, I don't care, man. I'm, I'm willing to put my life on the line to get the win. Um, as you see in, the, in my part previous fights, you know, I'll fight the fight. I don't care, man. I, I'm here to win. What does this fight mean for you and means, your family? It means everything, man. Uh, you know, it's my life's work. You know, I started boxing at 11 years old. I'm 30 now. I'm, you know, I'm ready to claim the number one spot in the world. Good luck, man. Thanks, man. Thank you, Joe.